for Scott to come and diagnose this car and it's not starting. C class C300 and it's, it's not starting, it's having starting issue. Whenever you're placing the key, it tells you remove the key. So I you open it, the key will open bar. You crank and it wouldn't start. And check the there is no sign which so there's no square around the P or R or N or so you don't know the exact position of the gear. So I was caught to come and diagnose it. So I tried putting a diagnosing machine on it and see the results that I'll get. So I'll go to auto scan and because because there is a uh, US spec or Canada spec so you should be able to read the vent direct I was caught to come and diagnose the vehicle to start. So now I'll try and start the vehicle and I'll leave the rest to the customer. If he wants any deeper diagnosis, then I'll continue it from there. Now I can't enter into the vehicle system, so I have to enter the chassis. And I have the chassis already. I've been in this vehicle already. So let me see, 300, using the chassis number. That means I have to enter the chassis number. But because I've, I've been in it already, so I just entered C300. So now I'll try and scan the whole system and you can I'll try and scan the whole system and you can see the panel you can see I'll try and start when you turn the key there's nothing when you even step on the brick and try to start there's nothing there's not nothing happening and one funny thing So now I'll go to auto scan to check the system. It keeps long whenever you are scanning a vehicle. Even to pass this stage. So I'll check which module can communicate with the vehicle. Then I'll take it from there. And it's a Mercedes C300. Formatic.
Yeah, so now after scanning the system, I was only able to go into 22 modules. And for Mercedes Benz, it's having communication issue. So that means it is not able to communicate with the ABS transmission and engine and other control units. So let me go to the gateway module and see the fourth code in there. <coughs> Troubleshoot port code. Yeah, so that means the chassis scan communication is faulty. So that means it's, it's shutting to ground. So let me go to the network, the place that the network system has been placed. Then let me take for with Mercedes. With Mercedes, they have all their network system. Oh, at the driver seat so i took all this thing out to test so here is the network system and there was water here so this cushion is was wet and all this place is wet so whenever it rains it comes into the vehicle and this is their network system so this one is a different and uh, the way mercedes has done it this is their canvas thing like the way it is in other uh, G GM cars. So this is the network system. And also this one also connect to a set of modules. Then this one also connect to a set of modules. But this one particular connects to the engine, the transmission, the ABS, uh, other modules like one, two, one, two, three three four five six seven seven modules on this network on this canvas so now what i'll do is because there is no communication here so now i don't know the particular module to go and connect uh, to go and disconnect so i'll disconnect the module from this side so now i'll take each pin out so first i'll take this pin out and, sc and scan the whole system and see if the car if the car will communicate with the ECM so let me take this pin out so I've taken this module out and I don't know the exact module it is so I've taken it out now and I'll scan the whole system and see which one will communicate with the vehicle which one will communicate with the vehicle? So I'll go. My phone will die out within some few minutes. So I'll go back and rescan the whole system and see which one will communicate with the vehicle. And it's like when I took that cable out, when I took. When I took that module out, now you can see that the square is on the parking. So you can see that one also. I think I have to plug in my chat. So now when I took that pin out, so now the car is able to communicate with the ECM, with the VGS, which is the transmission, EPS, SRS, key line and all of them are on the, on that same network so i think maybe that's why the network was shortened or the network was brought down or was shot to ground so i think there's an issue with that module that i have to check so after scanning the whole system i'll try and start the vehicle and see So if you are diagnosing any issue and you have any issue with the network system concerning the CAN bars, you go to that side and take the pin or you take, you take them out one by one to check which module will bring the network up again. So as I was, the first one that I took out, I think that's the one that 
brought the network down because now I've been able to go into even more than 27 control units, 28 and still counting. So after scanning the whole system, I'll try and start the vehicle and see. So now um, I'm done. I'm done diagnosing, and I went into 31 module. So let me generate a report. Mm. And most of the reports is about the network issue, network issue, network issue, network issue. So I think I'll, I'll save the report. Yeah. Yeah. C three hundred. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Two thousand and eleven. Ah, okay. I you ready. Ah, two thousand and eleven. Yeah, two thousand and eleven. C three hundred. Okay. 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 Erase the whole thing and see the ones that will appear back and then start the vehicle. So I think you now the network is up again and I'm able to communicate with the system. So whenever you have any network issue with the bins, you have to find for flat. Ask it always say. So after erasing the system, to erase all the fault code, and then try to start the vehicle. So now I'll finish raising most of the fourth code. So I'll try and start the vehicle and see. I have to step on the brake. I have to step on the brake then. Oh, wow. So now the vehicle is running. And, and now, so now the vehicle is running, the lights are out. So I'm done with my work. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for my subscribe to my channel for more videos. So now I'm done with the work I was So if there's anything else and the customer has to pay extra for that work. Thank you. So now the vehicle is running. And if I plug if I plug in if I plug in that module the system will go off again.